Hello and welcome to Fiona's Creative Canvas. I'm Fiona and today I am going to be trying a bloom. I've picked these colours out of my metallic Montmartre set, set. I've got gold, mint green, turquoise and sky blue. I did have a little practice at some earthy tones. This one didn't turn out very well. I don't like the colours and I need to practice my blowing. So that's what we'll be doing in this video. Let's get started. Okay, so if you saw my last attempt at blooms, I was using a different base paint. Um, now I'm using the British Paints uh, Walls Interior Lotion, and that's in white. Um, so I was using a different paint before, and it was a, a gloss, and it was coming through all the paints and eating it up. So yeah at least I know on that test that I did before this paint works so one thing I did notice with this paint though is it's reasonably thick not exactly sure how much to put on but I think that was about right last time and I'm actually wondering about adding a little bit of flow troll to this mix once I've used a bit I wonder if that would make a difference. You never know. But I want to try it without first. Okay, so I've got my white on there. Which colour am I going to use? So I've mixed these up with some Taubman Sunproof Neutral Base. Um, but I've got fairly thick consistency. Honestly, I didn't know how thick to go. So I'm trying something a little bit thick. And we'll see how it goes. I'll put this colour down first. That's pretty thick. <laughs> I'm not sure about it. Oh. All right. Let's try it anyway. Look, I've got more of these canvases, so I could thin this down a bit and um, try having some different thicknesses of the paint. I'm just crisscrossing this. My cats come in to the studio, one of them. Just gonna ask out in a sec, I can tell. She was clawing to get in. She's had a snoop, and now she wants out. A bit more gold? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Alright, let's try that. I'm not even sure about the colours. Alright, so I'm going to put down some black swipe mix or cell activator. I'm honestly not sure of the difference, I just think it depends on the technique that you're doing. And for blooms, they call it a cell activator. I'm just going to pull out those bubbles first. Because they're thick, thick bubbles. Right. Now I've got to get ready to blow this. Just let that sit for a second. Now, I've been looking and you've got to blow down first. All right, let's give this a whirl. Thank you. 
Dizzy. Okay. We lost a bit of that gold through there. I'm going to get a straw. So it's a bit wonky. I wonder if I can make something out of those wonkiness with a bit of gold. bit of green on the other side, mint green. That one's a little bit harder to see. I should put a bit of this stuff in a bottle because I'd like to put more over there. Uh, I might have to do it this way. All right, let's give it a little spin. Feel like I need something through here. Getting some interesting smoking there. Mmm, I actually like that. There we have it. I'll bring you in for a wet look. Okay, here is the wet look. Now I have managed to get a little bit of gold through here and through here, and a bit, a light bit through there. So it's it's a start. Um, I think I'm going to have another go. I think I'm going to thin down these paints a little bit and uh, put a bit extra colour on. So I've lost a bit of like the colour. I don't know if I was blowing too hard because it was thick. Yeah, let's let's have another go. I'm just going to spread that out a little bit. Just square it off a bit. that in the middle and let's mix it up a bit I'm gonna use the green first for all you green fans out there it's got quite a few bubbles in it now I've actually added a little bit of water to all of them and I put a little bit of flow troll in the green and the gold Now 
And you can see I've applied it thicker this time as well. So a couple of different techniques there. I might give it a little mix now. And then see if I want to add any other colours first. I'm just going to put a couple of little dobs of brighter green because I like this colour and it's a bit more of a contrast to some of the other colours. I'm not too much I'm sure how much cell activator I'm supposed to put on. I'm gonna try my heat gun, but on cold. I like this is looking kind of interesting and it's, the blend of colors is a little bit different now let's give it a little spin this one i think it's got more black too bit more. I think we're nearly there though. Hmm. Okay, I might bring these side to side. Uh, side by side to have a look because they're completely different. Okay, these two are looking very different. This one's a lot darker. Now I added more colour, um, but I must have added more black as well. I'm not sure. Um, so this one has got cells that are a lot softer, which is very interesting. I mean, we do have softness through here, but there's lots of sharp lines as well. So I wonder if that's because I added some water into these. Um, I also added Floetrol into the gold, and that seems to be, I don't know if it's from the water or from the Floetrol, but it seems to be flocking a tiny little bit. Uh, now when I, 
had a go before at doing these. The paints were thinner and it actually turned out a lot nicer. This one, I like this one. I'm not a big fan of this one. I do like the waves. They're a bit interesting. Um, but yeah, it's not, I think this one's much better. Um, but I think next time I do it, I'm going to thin down the paints again, but I'm not going to use water to do it. So yeah, I'm just going to keep me messing around it until uh, it starts working the way I want it to work. Um, the blowing part is a lot harder than I thought. <laughs> it's giving me a bit of a head spin. Um, but I'll be interested to see how these dry. Uh, so I'll bring it back then. Okay, here is the dry result. And I'll bring you into this one first. I quite like this one. Let's just see if there's any shine. Yeah, there's a little bit of shine there. The um, lacing is quite pretty through here. And this is really interesting. Got a bit of gold through there. Yeah, so it turned out quite pretty. It's like it's got some big sort of petals here and up here that doesn't have the lacing, and then the bits of lacing in between, which is quite good. This one here, um, I think what I don't like about it is the black bold spots. Um, if it was broken up, if these were broken up with lacing, I think I would have liked it a lot better. But, uh, you know, I like the sort of swishy bits as well. Gives it a little bit different interest. So, yeah. Some good lacing just here. That's it for this one. Um, I hope you all enjoyed that. Uh, if you've got any tips on um, blowing the paint, I would love to hear them in the comments below. And I shall see you all in the next one. Bye.